1876, Los Angeles became the end of the line of the Transcontinental Railroad. Thousands of men, many displaced veterans of the Civil War, began to ride the rails, stowing away in empty boxcars and jumping trains. These hobos survived by handouts from religious and charitable organizations. The place where they congregated was called Hobo Corner. At the turn of the century, first in Los Angeles streets was legendary. It was one of the toughest hangouts in the West. It became invested with alcoholics, mental illness, and violence. Society deemed these people scum and dirty pigs. The Union Rescue Mission and the Salvation Army were all located there until they tore it down to build a city hall. During the Depression in the 1930s, many farmers and workers left their families seeking work in Los Angeles. Many became alcoholics ending up there. The social services began to evolve into social centers. During World War II and Vietnam, a lot of servicemen ended up there because it became their havens during their journeys. Most were addicts from PTSD, and Skid Row was a place to get their drugs and alcohol, as well as escape rejection. From the 1960s to the 1970s, 22,750 hotel rooms were closed down because they did not meet fire and safety codes. In 1975, the city put all their money into redeveloping this area. Because of this, surrounding communities were underfunded and sent their homeless to Skid Row. In the late 1970s, the EPA started closing down polluting factories. And with that, so went a lot of unskilled jobs. In Los Angeles County, Fire Station 9, which covers Skid Row, is the busiest firehouse in America, responding to 35,518 calls for service last year. There are over 2,500 nomads living on the street there. The term Skid Row derives from Seattle, Washington, where Skid Roads were the places where loggers slid their cut lumber to the ports for shipment. By the 1930s, the term referred to rundown areas of cities, characterized by bars, brothels, and the like originally attracted by loggers and began to include the presence of homeless and other extremely low-income populations. My name is Kevin Davis. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona. When I was five, I would go to church and learn the song called Jesus Loves the Little Children. The song talked about how Jesus loved all kids of all races. Then I would go into a mall down the street and I'd see a separate water fountain for blacks only. I was pretty confused. When I was six, I was sent away to live with my grandparents in a small farming community in Nebraska. There were no minorities there. When I was nine, my mom remarried and I moved back with my family to Southgate, California. Our new stepfather was a racist and a bigot. My mom was the complete opposite. We lived on Alameda Street. On the other side of the tracks was Watts. When I was 12, we moved a few blocks away to a neighborhood that was infested with drugs. And of course, this influenced me. I was the only Boy Scout in my neighborhood and almost an Eagle Scout. There were no blacks in grammar school. I was the president of the school when I was in sixth grade. When I got to junior high and high school, there was a third black, a third Hispanic, and a third white. For the most part, these groups remained separated. I went to college to study theater. I found this as a group of misfits and people that didn't belong. I studied lighting and scenery design. In 1983, I lived downtown LA for several months. The homeless population wasn't that bad and we had many homeless friends. In 1984, I started my first scenery and special effects shop. In four years, it grew to be one of the largest on the West Coast. Because I had so much business, I was working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To make this happen, I used cocaine. Had I continued at that pace, I would have died of a heart attack. I stopped doing cocaine and then started a smaller shop downtown LA. One of my clients was working for the Super Bowl in Pasadena, and the NFL said we had to have a minority crew to be able to work on the job. I then put together a group of homeless workers and trained them. Most of them were black. To this day, this was the best crew I ever had. There were homeless people living behind my shop that would guard my shop at night. For a brief period of my career, I was the only white person that was working for BET, Black Entertainment Television. I was an art director and donated my time for such causes as Coalition for a Free Africa, produced by Dick Griffey. In 1992, after the Rodney King riots, there was a movement to come up with an idea how to rebuild LA. My friend John Marshall and a few other black leaders came up with an idea to build a film school near USC for minorities. This became such a great idea that Bryce President Gore was going to take a bus tour through South LA with John as well as a few prominent black figures. And then Maxine Waters claimed it was her idea. She parked a lady answering a phone in an office. The White House, seeing this turmoil, abandoned the idea and gave the money to the Missouri flood victims. In 1996, the director of the CIA came to a high school in LA for a town meeting hall. 
At that meeting, Michael Rupert, an ex-LAPD narcotics officer, confronted Don Jush and told him he had seen the CIA's involvement in drug dealing in South L.A. They were bringing crack cocaine into South L.A. and selling it at dirt cheap prices. Gary Webb picked up on the story and wrote about it in the Mercury News. Then Maxine Waters took the story to Congress. For Gary's involvement, he was whacked in late 2004. In 2006, Michael moved to Venezuela, fearing for his life. He, he then came back several years before they, they took his life. He told everyone he was with a friend in Colorado, but he was secretly living with a friend in Calistoga, California. I was friends with Michael about a year before he took his life. He was pissed that Maxine Waters had taken his story to Congress and left him and Gary out to dry. He'd been stripped of all of his benefits from the LAPD and was living on charity of friends. He was afraid for his friend's life. Three days before he shot himself in the head, he told all of us what he was going to do. Not one of us tried to stop him. On April 13, 2014, Michael did the decent thing. In early 2001, my girlfriend produced a radio show for Ted Hayes, the downtown L.A. homeless activist, who built the Dome Village. The Dome Village consisted of 20 fiberglass domes where families could live. The money was donated by Arco. The radio show he did in Pasadena was very late at night. Only a few people from Dome Village would call in. I sat in a booth next to him and called in disguised my voice in different accents. I asked vague questions so Ted could explain what was going on. At the time, Ted lived in Hollywood and had several girlfriends. His problem was that he was a Republican and thought George Bush Jr. would help him out. Ted told me that there was 12 NGOs that were downtown LA to help and none of them were doing anything. In 2006, the property they were renting increased by 700%. LA had a chance to fight homelessness but sold out to developers who made million dollar lofts. In 2002, I met a teacher of spiritual teachers like Deepak Chopra and Michael Beckworth. Her name was Pamelia Evans. She used the term divine nomad to describe the homeless, and it stuck. In 2009, I went to the Amazon to help restore it and save lives. I cleaned a major stream in the city of Pacalpa and pulled out 3,700 bags of trash. I fed nearly 1,200 kids and took over 100 to hospitals. I had a massive plan that I put together to save the Amazon, and in 2015, I had a brain aneurysm. While I was doing this, people kept asking me why I wasn't helping my own. When I first started going there, homelessness wasn't a big of an issue. Now it is. Last August, I started DNA, Divine Nomad Agenda, on Facebook. It had three major goals, which you'll see in the video. I first started a three blanket and no bed program. No LA City High School would get involved because of the politics. A week after I made the video promoting the idea, I found a gentleman out of Detroit who was, who was doing something similar. He'd been giving away backpacks since 2013 and now is in four different cities, Detroit, San Jose, New York City, and Washington, D.C. He convinced me not to become an NGO. He said that it was costly, and you become involved in competition against other NGOs. Then I started making what I call a thousand nomad city. These are cities that hold up to 3,000 nomads. They provide job training, and after five years, I plan to eradicate 80% of the homeless. These cities are food and energy farms. After the nomads are put back into society, they could turn into hostels and places to live when disasters strike. I'm about four to five weeks away from pitching this to the White House. I have a massive AutoCAD drawing and over 450 pages describing each entity and the costs. The plan is to put at least one of these in the 100 most populated cities in America. I have people in the UK interested in this project. At the beginning of the year, President Trump announced he had a homeless czar named Robert Marbuck. He, like myself, believes that housing first is a mistake. It aims to get people a reliable home without focusing on services such as rehabilitation, treatment, or finding a job. Where we disagree is that I think homelessness is a national emergency and should be taken away from other cities and states that are lining their pockets. In the first week of March, I had a friend that was stuck in Singapore because of the virus. The Chinese were giving their citizens Yu Ping Feng Wan to prevent it. I started buying bottles of it, and together with my friend Bill, we started giving them away in LA Skid Row. We also gave away socks and water. We then went back the following weekend on March 14th. This time we brought more of everything. Then our mayor announced that anyone caught on the streets would be fined $1,000. He even offered a $200 snitch reward. About a month later, on April 19th, I went on my own because I didn't want Bill to get in trouble. I saw no cops on the street. I just saw people in need. People had caught on to the Yu Ping Feng Wan. Not only did the price go up, but so did availability. I only handed out socks. 
At the beginning of the virus, I stocked up on three different types of beans. One of them was white navy beans, which are super alkaline. As I was shopping for socks and water at Costco, I noticed they had a healthy tortilla made by a Las Tortilla factory out of Santa Rosa, California. The next weekend on April 25th, I took Bill. We handed out 60 burritos, 80 waters, and 104 pairs of socks. The next weekend on May 10th, we increased to 120 burritos, 200 pairs of socks, and 200 waters. We were starting to notice the crowd change as Bill had some lady yelling in his ear. On the 16th of May, we went back. We handed out 144 pairs of socks, 200 waters, 144 chocolate chip cookies, and 100 burritos. We had a case of water stolen out of our trunk. We could now see the crowd was different. A few days later, I watched a podcast with Joe Rogan and Dr. Rhonda Patrick. She was talking about how the sun can get rid of your virus. She said that for black people, they need more sun because the pigment is darker. This prompted me to buy enough capsules to give 200 nomads four capsules each. The plan was to take one every other day. I put them in a bag and stapled them to what I call thank you. 90% of nomads in Skid Row are black, so this is pretty important. On the 24th of May, things were much different. We went in with 165 burrito, 200 waters, 200 pairs of socks, and 200 doses of vitamin D. We got mobbed in front of the mission. They ran out of food and we were all there was. It was like a zombie movie with arms grabbing at Bill in the back seat. There was one guy who kept screaming at me because I wouldn't serve him. I was only serving women and he didn't want to wait on the men's line. It was now clear that the effects of the state releasing the prisoners had hit Skid Row. In December of 2017, a federal ban on the making of lethal viruses was lifted. Sometime in late December of 2019, there was a new form of coronavirus discovered in Wuhan, China. We were told it started in a fish market by people eating bats. At first, the Chinese told us not to worry about it. Then Dr. Fossey told us that there was nothing to worry about. And then the WHO told everybody not to worry because China said it wasn't contagious. In early January, Bill Gates and Barack Obama released a docu-series called Pandemic on Netflix. In late January, India announced that the coronavirus had at least four protein inserts from HIV, which is a sign of engineering leading to the belief that it was an engineered bioweapon. At the same time, Charles Lieber, the head of Harvard's chemistry and chemical biology, was arrested for lying about his ties to China Wuhan University of Technology. I suspect he made the virus, but others think it was made at the University of North Carolina by grants approved by the Obama administration. At the end of January, President Trump shut down all flights coming from China. Dr. Fossey predicted that 100,000 to 200,000 people in the U.S. would die from it and thought we should never shake hands again. In late February, one Harvard epidemiologist, Mark Lipsitch, said that 70% of the world's population would get it. Russia closed its borders with China. China went on lockdown and imposed martial law on several major cities, Wuhan being one of them. On April 10th, Dr. Fossey lowered the prediction to 60,000 and said social distancing was working. And then he repeated that we shouldn't shake hands again. He then said more lives could have been saved if Trump had reacted early. This made Trump start a second team of experts rather than firing him. A few days later, an MIT PH scientist named Dr. Shiva said that Dr. Fossey and Bill Gates want every person on the planet vaccinated. On May 8th, the president of Tanzania tested the coronavirus on a goat, a queer bird, and a papaw fruit, and they all came out positive. On May 18th, Trump starts to take hydrochloroquine. It's a well-known cure that's cheap and been out there for decades. If a patient has COVID-19, the hospital gets $5,000. If they have pneumonia, they get $13,000. If they end up in a ventilator, they get $39,000. Because of this, hospitals in New York City were falsifying records. The mayor was demanding they use ventilators, but in almost every case, the patients died. He also started sticking seniors infected with the virus into senior homes, infecting and killing thousands. They were also ordered not to revive heart patients and people with Alzheimer's. There was also an amazing correlation between 5G cell towers and the areas that were the hardest hit. Then around May 28th, the Italian doctors disobeyed the WHO and did autopsies. They discovered it was a bacterium and together with 5G produces inflammation and hypoxia. Once they discovered this, they gave the patients aspirin and the products. They sent 14,000 patients home in a single day. Yesterday, the WHO finally admitted that the spread of COVID-19 was asymptomatic carriers was rare. 
At the same time, the CDC said the death rate was 4%, yet those who have weak immune system will fall as victims. We will do our best to help nomads in Skid Row and elsewhere. You ladies need some socks? Yep, yes I do. What's your name? My name is April. April? Thank you very much. It's a good month. Thank you very much. What about your, your other friend over there? Her name is Elise. Does she need some socks? Yes, she does. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What made you good on the streets? Um, a, a Rampart Division cop, he was Korean, came and ran me and my daughter over twice. But the last time, he put her in, she was in, um, out of school for three months. Wow. It was in Elrod Hubbard Way, Vermont Fountain. I was working in Hollywood Presbyterian. Oh, I know that area. Yep, that's where I was there, on 48th Street Fountain Avenue. Uh -huh. And he ran us over, one time she was three, one time she was 12. Are you kidding me? Yep, and oh. he looked, looked like a taxi. And I didn't know until eight months ago, right now, there was no report ever fit. God, no wow. report, no one ever. She missed she, school for three months. Is she okay now? I assume so, because she got really mad at me. Uh-oh. Because I never called the cops on the cops, and I never... And, and why is your friend on the streets? Um, her family, both her parents died. Uh, parents died? Yeah, mine are in Pennsylvania, though. Well, that's probably a good place for them, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, up in the mountains of Pennsylvania. I mean, what, what's your name again? My name is April. Your name's April? Come in. There you go. Smile I, for the camera. I. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny, are you hungry? Yes. Would you like a burrito? Yes, please. Would you like a water? Yes, please. Would you like socks? Yes. Very good. Very good. Hold on. Good Here, good Jenny. Sorry. Right. Hey, sir, what's your name again? Johnny Kaiser. What? Johnny Kaiser. Johnny Kaiser? Has anybody gotten sick here from the coronavirus? No, not yet. Not yet? I'm supposed to be going to the motel. I'm 71. 71? Yeah. How, how are you going to get in there? Uh, they, they, they're coming around. There's people in, in, in motels. They're putting people in motels? Yeah. Well, that's good. Days. 90 days? Well, that's yeah. cool. That's very cool. No, I'm bad, though. You in Nam? Yeah, I'm just stupid out here with this. That shit. Yeah? Yeah. $3,000 a month, I'm stupid, they in a tent, but guess what I did, I tore it up. I don't want to live in a tent no more. There you go, buddy. Yeah. You gave the lady in the wheelchair for Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, take care, huh? Good luck, man. Take care. He's a big buddy with He's pretty big. You get one. Give him water. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, man, I have to show your face, I can't. A little water? Did you already get a haircut? <laughs> hey, how about a pair of socks? Oh, man. God bless you. I'll be working hard at 95 degrees. Hell yeah. A pair of socks. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Y'all be safe out there, man. You too. Hey, have you, have you known anybody that's gotten sick? Anybody got the virus out here? No. No? Want some socks? We got burritos and water too. Good burritos. Is there anybody else in there? Just you? There's other people. Where are they? Tell them to get the hell out of here. Hey, you guys want burrito and water? How many hangers? Socks. Socks too? Can't be making those comments. Oh, here, I have a cookie too. Want a cookie? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, man? Thank you. Good size? Yes, please. What's your name, man? Jonathan. Jonathan, how long have you been on the streets? Hey, Pat, no, sir. Um, yeah. Out yep. here? Yeah. Uh, about two and a half years. I don't know how it even happened in the first place. You don't know how you got here? I, oh, that knee up here. Uh, I, got, no, it, no. I don't know how it lasted this long. Uh, Thank you. Appreciate it. But it's getting to the point where I can't stand it so much. I'm definitely. Well, good luck, man. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Hey, man. Lunch time. You guys want a burrito? Good 
No one to the way. Hey, uh, the burrito here? How you doing? Oh, good, good, good. I'm just trying to see the Oh, yeah, whoa. Yeah, you got the fire too. I can cook there. I can cook no, one per customer. One per customer, man. There's a lot of people out here. No, sorry. <laughs> you gonna trade your burrito for socks? We just have a man. Oh, fuck. I never One for customer, man. Right. Thank you. Take care. What's your name, man? Whitey. Yeah. Whitey? Freddy. Freddy? Yeah. Freddy's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, B, man. B. They're really good burritos, They're man. Good though, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, man. You're welcome. Freddy needs a burrito. Young lady, what's your name? Kelly. Kelly, come on over here. You did what? My feet are burning. Oh. <laughs> hey, sir. How you doing, man? Want a burrito? What about socks? And water? Yeah. You gonna give me the water? Yeah. Hey. Then come out here and get it. Show your face. Don't record me, don't record me. Who are you? How are you? Stick your head in here. What's your name? 360. 360? Yes, sir. Not 180? 180? 180 divided by two? Go around there, dude. What's your name? 360? Oh, 360, that's right. 360. Okay. This is a shower place, right? Just where yeah, you take so a shower? My shower, laundry, and a bathroom. Everything. No kidding. Yeah, 24 hours. Very quick. Cool. All that are available, who, sir. Who, who pays for it? Hey, you need some socks? Yeah. Come on over here. I need your hers, too. How many, pair, how, many, how many feet do you have? That's one there and one for her. <laughs> this guy's dragging hey, hey, something. Hey, your pants are hey, hey, dude. You want a pair of socks? Yeah. You need water too, huh? Mm -hmm. Hola. <laughs> Come get some socks. There you go. What is it? Cash is dead. Cash record dead. <laughs> Look at the back of it. In the bottom, in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. Yeah, right there, look at that one. Yeah? Yeah, like that one. So it's just kind of the, you're registered, we good. All right, I could probably make this work. Uh-huh. What's on it? Right there. What's on this? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Have whatever, you checked it? No, whatever you How are you, man? Good. You need some socks? Yes, sir. Can I need more burrito? Please, sir. You need a burrito and water? Yes, yeah. yeah. What's your name again? Yeah. Arthur. Arthur. King Arthur. King Arthur, yeah. The, the Knights of the Round Table's right in there, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did? How you doing, man? All oh, right, man. Yeah. Hanging in there? Can you give me a, what was it, four, four and a, did anybody, did anybody get a stimulus check? Did you get a check yet? I, I get some stimulus, I, I, no, I, I ain't seen it. Really? Do you have an address? Yes, yeah, uh, I need mean, like, I'm okay, going to check Monday. Yeah. So what, would, what would they do? They, 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 they gave out 1200 They gave out, yeah, they gave out $1,200 to everybody. I see if it ever been put on that's all I didn't do. Yeah? I didn't never get it. Well, check it, you know. Don't, you know. $1,200 is a lot of money. Yeah. Bill, give give Arthur some socks. I decided to go ahead and hold down the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? I like your hat, though. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? Yeah, it's two hats. What's this your name? This is my pocketbook. And this is my, no, this is my wig. And this is my pocketbook. 
Well, this is my Shirley Temple side, and this is my Rock Hudson side. I heard side. that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I say I'm glad because I stay in the middle of the block on the same side of the street as Hippie Kippy. Have you ever heard of a, a Catholic Hippie? A cla Catholic Hippie? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, what's wrong with that? It's a kind of but, Total opposite. Wait a minute, you didn't tell us your name. Lisa Marie. Kirstein. Lisa Marie? Lisa Marie Karstock. Leavenworth, Kansas. Cool. <laughs> well, Lisa Marie, we gotta go. Okay. It's a pleasure I'll, talking I'll to you. Walk in the be worth a pack of socks, please? A pack of socks. A pack of socks. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, well, there's other people that don't have socks. I have these flip-flops and I have socks on. But look at all these other people that don't have socks. This is like a way I'm going to Those are your, those are your, that's your family, man. It doesn't hurt to ask, right? Sure, that's, yeah. No. Those guys don't get fed. That's right, right. <laughs> I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys. Lisa Marie. Right and then, don't drink Corona beer. Don't go to the city Corona beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <laughs> what a trip. See you. Be safe. Thank you. You too. Okay. Hey, uh, you want a burrito? Did she say yes? Hey, do you want a burrito? How about a water? Hey, what's your name? Yes, it shows face, man. What's your name? Jane. Jane, did you get your stimulus check? No. Do you have an address? You don't have an address? No. God, you gotta get an address. I don't have one. I don't know. I lost my backpack. Oh, oh. With everything in it. Yeah. What about you, brother? Did you get a stimulus check? Uh, I think so. I think I might. Yeah? Yeah. They came out yesterday. Oh, it did? Yeah. How much did we get? Thousands? Twelve hundred. Is that right? How much? Twelve, twelve hundred dollars. Is that right? Yeah. Each? Each. Okay. Everybody got twelve hundred dollars. Bill back here didn't get twelve hundred because he's a convict. Yeah, I didn't get shit. <laughs> Sock water. Well, God bless you. You're here. Here you Thank go, man. You got stuff? There you go. Hey. Is it hey, supposed to get in the burrito, sir? Huh? Is it supposed to get in the burrito? Who? Oh, you want another burrito? What are you burrito? looking at me for? <laughs> I'm not the hand router, I'm the I'm the cinematographer. Hey. Water, man? Yes. I want wherever you got, I can use it. <laughs> hey. hey. What's going, man? Yeah. Did you get your stimulus check? No, I'm I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna, I gotta go to the library and get the computer. and get yeah. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna get that. What about you? Did you get your stimulus check? No, I'm, a, I'm going through a problem having a social security number. Oh, shit. I social security number 10 years ago. Oh, that's right. Somebody died. It's stolen, They huh? took my number. Yeah. Now I don't have a number. And they told me to correct me and never done it. So, um, that sucks. I'm still trying to get social security to give me another number. How long you been on the streets? Two damn long. Two damn long. One day is two damn long. What? We got to go to get it? You got you to gotta have an address. No, I do. Okay, that's where you go. It'll be there. Hey, I like your glasses. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Did you get your check? Uh, yeah. Thank you. No? Well, I don't seem like it's a spin. I'm just playing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. What's your name? What's your name again? For me? Yeah. How long have you been on the street? Since uh, 1996. Jesus. How'd you end up on the street? Messing with drugs and not, I'm not from here. And oh, yeah. You know how they go. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Well, I'm going to go on, man. Hey, hey. I heard a judge. Hi, right, man. You have a chance to come with me. Hey, young lady, what's your name? April. Hey, April, how long have you been on the streets? Uh, well, this time around, uh, a few months. Have you, did you get a stimulus check? Uh, I should be getting one. I they came out yesterday. Oh, it did? $1,200. Alright, I gotta check. Yeah. Let's see if I got it. Cool. Burrito, I got my. Yeah. Hey, I mean, so much. Doing oh, a couple of water. Take care, buddy. Thanks, it's kind of spoiled. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hey, you want a burrito? Yes. Pitbull and Saint Bernard. Thank you. There you go, man. He's nice. He was up. Love it. Socks and uh, you got any uh, any uh, sandwiches? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't need the water. I got enough water. Okay. If, is it okay to get a cup of these? Yeah, uh, sorry, man. You got what any uh, snacks? Water? No, man, that's it. Can I get some socks in the water? Sure, man. Oh, yeah, I need some. All right, no socks left. Thank you. Yeah, There you go. Thank you very much. Right on, man. You ready? Yeah. Socks in water with the burrito? Would you have a jacket or a long sleeve? No, I don't, man. What you want? A jacket or something long sleeve. Well, give her your shirt, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey there. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Gloria. Gloria, do, do you have an address? Um, not here. Because they, they Elm Street. Elm Street and Long in, Beach. Elm Street in, in, in Long Beach or South LA? Well, it's like, that's more like my mailing address. Okay. Downtown. There should be there should be a stimulus check, check there for twelve hundred dollars. You think it's coming? Oh man, come mine got, I got mine yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, another water. Another water? What are you gonna do with all that water? I'm gonna drink it. Don't break your water. No, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Take care. They, they handed out stimulus checks yesterday, twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Go to your address and, and pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, come here. How'd you end up on the street? GPSS. Really? Yeah. 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 You. You know you're stunning, gorgeous. You know that, right? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. You're hot. <laughs> you know, you didn't just appear on me, did you? Where are you from? Oh, um, Orange County. You live behind the orange curtain? Get out of <laughs> you can tell. Great Britain. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm Brito, man. Nice talking to you. Hey, dude. Dude. Do you really trust water from this white boy? <laughs> you make me think. What's your name, man? My name's Curtis. Curtis, uh, do you have a, do you have an address? Yeah, in in, um, in Upland, California. Did you get your uh, stimulus? There's there? a stimulus check waiting there for you. I know. Okay. You talk to the white guy. Good for you, man. Thank you. Good luck, man. Hey, yo. What what's your name? Your name is Tatiana. Tatiana. Hey. I remember you. Yeah. I gave you the ride. Remember? Yes, of course. I was yeah. just talking about you. Anything good? Were you saying good things? Uh, um, no. <laughs> this man is an amazing man. Yeah. He's working very hard on his project. Yeah. Which is called DNA. Right. And uh, you know, I offered my help because I speak six languages. I think I have people skills. You're very intelligent. I'm yeah. homeless because of good. Unfortunately, I'm an addict, and it's been 25 years on and off since I've been trying to come up with drugs. This man. Uh, I was stranded. I need to get home to my family. He offered me a ride. He doesn't know me, and he had, he's so brave to come into an area like this and help people like us who we all hope we still have hope in this life and help maybe help somebody else in the future. Thank you. Thank you. It's two of us in the tent. Two of you. It's two of us. What about that little Chihuahua? Is that Chihuahua need socks? I mean, if you can give some for all three of them, that would be lovely. <laughs> Little I mean, tiny ones, huh? It would be quite lovely, quite lovely. Oh, and they're cute. all bad as hell. Those are, <laughs> those are my Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams. Okay. It's Milky Way, Hershey, and a bit of honey. <laughs> Take care. Hey, they'll, Thank they'll, they'll bite you, too. Oh, yes, they will. They are ankle biters. They yep, are yep. ankle biters. Socks and water smoke. You got it, man. Give me some more socks. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you. Socks and water, babe. Yeah. Give that guy in a wheelchair some. You You're welcome, buddy. Good luck. You're welcome. Hey, uh, one of the guys that passed away. Guy just passed away across the street. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, he's, they, uh, uh, yeah, he's passed away right now. From what? Right now. We, they don't know that I feel worse. Does he have the virus? I don't know. He might, he might have, yeah. 
Wow. Right there. 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 Right So it looks like someone passed away over here. Hey man, that one sucks. Thank you. Right on, man. Fresh out of burritos. <laughs> Not so much, right? All right, thank you. You want water? Fuck, we gotta get some socks that are easier to open, man. I know they are. They're tough, huh? There you go. Thank you, sweetie. God bless you. Oh my God! Come on, come on, come on! Enjoy farming. Watch out, man! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank did you, did, oh, did you get some? Yeah, did you get some? Yeah, Back there. Hello, brother. Give that guy right there. Uh, yeah, give that guy right there. Right there, man, in the back. Bill, give that guy right there. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, guys. Take care, man. Blessings. Stay safe. Yes, sir. You too. Look, if you guys look you all kind people, my brother. Somebody died. We've been here. We, you, we, we've been here, man. We know it's like. Well, I gotta do it, man. I guess. Take care, brother. Thanks for the rain. Yeah, unfortunately. Hey. I know. I got you. You're you're on TV, man. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Mark. Mark. We love you, man. Take care, man. Right. We gotta go. Right. See you, brother. Hey, hey, there is. Look at there's a squirt machine right there. All right. Is there any water in that thing? Oh, you, 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 ask, you ask some water, you got some water there. Look, these, these people need it. Hey, man. I love you, man. Yeah, look at that lady. She's got no, uh, no socks. Thank you. It ain't a lot. That's what you do with your time off. You help people on Skid Row. You're here to get your blessings, and your angels are around. Hey, brother. Hey, can you give that that lady some socks? Yeah. Hey, you need some more, man. Let me come first, bro. No, no, man. Here. This for this guy. How y'all doing, man? Good. What's your name? Look at what they do, bro. They have lives. They have bills. This is what they do. I love y'all, man. All right, man. You guys, you guys stay safe. Bless you, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're welcome, man. Hi, baby. How you doing, man? God bless you. You got it. Any of those other people want socks? Thank you. Hey, go tell those other people if they want some socks. Price is right. <laughs> Price is right. Right here. You don't want it? Here. I'm going to play my game. There's a lady right here in the wheelchair. What's your name? Munchkin. Munchkin? Munchkin? That's Cracker Claws back there. Thank you, God bless you guys. You're welcome. Sure, come on in. What's your name, brother? Oh, thank you very much. What's your name? My name is Marcel. Marcel? Yes. Yeah. Good luck, man. What's your name? 
Kanika, how old are you? I'm 25 today. Today's your birthday? Oh my God, How? and you're 25? Yes. Where are you from? Portland, Maine. You're from Maine? Yeah. Hold on for a minute, okay? I'm gonna give you a better birthday present than socks. Thank you guys, we love you so Hey, how's that? We need some socks? You want some socks? Come here. We all need socks. Oh, these cost like $1,700 a pair. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're, 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 oh, the thread's gold. Come on, man. Let's go to Rodeo. <laughs> Rodeo's closing soon. Yeah, they're closing soon. Yeah, we're going to Rodeo. 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 Yeah, we the one with the pool. I just want the pool out. There you go. Hey, we're going to put some money in your books. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so All right, much. take care. You can. I really appreciate it. You got it. I see you, man. Huh? Got to see him. Rhonda, put your hand down. Yeah. Rhonda. Hey, man. There it is, too. She's there. There you go. Whatever you got. Oh, socks. Hey, 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 hey. See ya? See ya? Hey, give me the whole trifecta. Uh huh? See ya? Yeah, I see her. Right. Come on over. Hey, water me two words. You said you got dots? Socks. Oh, hey, socks. Water, okay, all right. That's cool. Thank you very much, you guys. Hey, hey give, give, him, give him a whole nother set. Rhonda's out there. She's poked her head out the tent. Okay. Oh. You better come out and get there the water. Go, I'm all say. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, man. Come get the water. What about that guy right there? Right here. We up there. What I know. He's asking. Sir, do you want some socks? Burrito? Water? Cookie? Well, uh, there's more than water here. Hold on. Get get some socks. How long have you been on the streets? Uh, three and a half years. Wow. Good luck getting off, man. Uh, Take care, buddy. Are you alone? Do you, is there anybody else over there? Need some socks, food, water? Not really. If I do. Yeah? Thank you. We'll, we'll go up. We'll scoot up to them. There they are. There's a Molly bunch. There's a girl in the tent. You guys want some socks, some food? Uh, yeah. Come on and get it. What do you say? They don't want to be filmed. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care? They don't anyway. Hey, come here. What's your name? Uh, William. William. Yeah. Good luck, man. Bless you. Take care, buddy. Look, 67, I just want to live. There you go, buddy. We all want to live, man. We've been here. Good job. Hey, sweetheart, come out and get some food. Yeah, I'll come for free. Right now. I just got to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, sweetheart, how long have you been in the, on, in the streets? Um, going on uh, three years. Wow. Good sauce. Yes, please. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Take care. Good luck, okay? Thank you. I was inside the ritual, but they told me to leave. So. Why? Why did they tell you to leave? Um, well, they have us pay uh, $210 a month to live upstairs. Are you kidding me? Uh-uh. And I wow. was volunteering, so I paid $110, but they didn't, really, they didn't really help me with the housing. I'm still waiting. Wow. wow. Oh, and you've been on the street three years? Um, I was... Since August of last year, I've been, but where, I was inside the mission. Where, where, where are you from? I'm, I'm originally from Massachusetts. Wow. <laughs> wow. Long I left, ways. I left Massachusetts because of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't you. I went from Massachusetts to Florida, and then from Florida to here, here wow. in California. Wow. Well, good luck. What's your name? Um, my name's Lisa, but I go by Massachusetts. <laughs> Do you really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Massachusetts? I'm from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Is that by Boston? Yes. 
So, so you're a bean girl? Yes. <laughs> Good luck, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir, do you want some socks? Burrito? Water? Cookie? Well, there's more than water here. Hold on, get get some socks. How long have you been on the streets? Uh, three and a half years. Wow. Good luck getting off, man. Uh, Take care, buddy. Hey, sweetheart, come here. Want some socks? I'll get you here. Are you alone? Do you, is there anybody else over there? Need some socks, food, water? Not really. If I do. Yeah? Thank you. We'll, we'll go up. We'll scoot up to them. Thank you all so much. What's your name? My name is Tara. How are you? I'm great, Tara. How long have you been in the streets? I've been out here for a year now. Wow. Tough, huh? Yes, I. It's all right? Yeah, I'm almost out of here. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. These are all your friends? Yeah. Are they good people? It's my family. They're real good people. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah, they support each other. It's all good. Get out one for all and all for one. All for one. That's right. You know, do you know the guy in the other street, the, the barber? Huh? Do you know Hawk, the barber? Uh-huh, but I know my brother, a barber, too. So. Which one's he? <laughs> He's the one that just left in a brown shirt. Ah, uh, okay. See my fresh haircut? I, well, I want, to get a, I want to get a haircut by Hawk. Oh, I, I haven't seen him today. Really? Wow. Monday through Friday, usually Thank when you they be out. Appreciate it. Well, have a cookie. Have a nice day. You too. Nice talking to you. you hey, come play us a tune, man. We'll give you some socks and, and food. What's your name, man? I play religiously. I've been playing for like a couple of years. There you go. You're good at it. I, I stay, I play every day. Where are you from? I'm from Pomona, but I was born in Florida. No kidding. I got out of jail uh, the last, last year. I've been out for close to two years now. Wow. But I had a double acquittal. No they shit. Me, they still give me 20 white lives. For, double acquittal. Oh. I'm looking for a, 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 a valid attorney that will help me overturn my case because he acquitted me twice. Wow. And then still gave me 25 to life. This, this state How sucks, huh? Uh -huh. About it's nine years. Wow. 25 to life. He struck me out for selling marijuana. Three nickel bags. You gotta be shitting me. Oh. Wow. It's all in the evidence. It's all, it's all in transcripts. Yeah, they run so, their own game, man. You know, they, you know the judge was just stupefied because he was trying to get rid of us and food. The best thing they want the jury to know about it. But that's what I'd done. I could somebody some marijuana, which is a misdemeanor. You know? I didn't sell it to him. The guy in the house, he was selling drugs. They used everything in this house against me, too. Wow. It's double jeopardy all over the place. Jesus. All over the place, man. Hey, good luck, man. What's That's your right. name? My name is James Newman. James Newman, good luck. Yeah. Uh, James, Thanks James. for the concert. Case. All right, take care. So, you YouTube it up. Whatever you do with it. Sweetheart, how long have you been on the streets? I've been on the streets for almost two, three years. Yeah, where, where are you from? Texas. How long have you been on the streets? Two years. Where you from? Louisiana. Where you from, dude? Long Beach. Long Beach? Yeah. Well, I know Long Beach. Why'd you come to L.A., man? I don't know. Long Beach is better than... Uh -huh. Yeah. Where are those grapes? Are you giving me cherries? Uh, oh, no, you have a... I got a cookie eating now, man. What's your name? Uh, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. All right, thank you, though. Appreciate you guys. Take hey. care, man. Thank you so much. This is Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, good luck, dude. Yes, sir. Thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. I got enough for that. Sure, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, read a little water, too? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey how, about, how about a cookie, man? Yeah, cookie. Wait, they do like cookies. Do you like cookies? They're great cookies. They're good cookies. Give me one. 
We got socks, burritos, and and uh, and water. And and a cookie. We got chocolate chip cookies too. Which one do you want? Socks. Socks. Water. I gotta see her first, man. Hey, I remember you from last week. Do you remember me? Huh? Do you remember me? You were here last week. Probably so. I, I remember you because you're a sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Ma'am, do you know what they call us? What? The Flying bur the Burrito Brothers. No, I call you the Socks guy. We give away burritos and they're flying burritos. Oh my God! And you got a <laughs> We got burritos. We got burritos. We're the Flying Burrito Brothers. Ma'am, how long you been on the street? How long you been on the street? Um, I got a permit. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Where are the ice cream men? Hi. How are you? Why are they all in jail? <laughs> well, what did you guys do wrong? Tell us. I didn't do nothing wrong. Are you in there too? Yeah, I'm yeah. in there. And, 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 and it's it's only for women? Yeah. Yes, yeah, just for women. How long have you been on the street? Um, for four years. Oh, wow. Well, good luck. And I just barely got into the women's center on Tuesday. Wow. How is it? Much better, huh? A blessing. Yeah. Who 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 funds it? Do you know? I'm not for sure. A bunch of men. A bunch of men. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is Shonda. Where are you from? I'm from Pasadena. Is that in the United States? Yes. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time I checked? You're a sweetheart. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a blessed one. Okay. Bye. You want some socks? You want some socks? Come on up. You look like you need some socks. Well, have some more. Have a cookie. Have a burrito. You're welcome. I like your medallion. That's, that's very cool. There you go. Where are you from? Texas Redmond. How long have you been on the streets? I did now, but this is only my second month. Oh shit, you're lucky. Good luck, man. Yeah. What about you, brother? How long have you been on the streets? In and out of California. I'm from Louisiana. No shit. Yeah, I come here and I leave. I come, I leave. Did you bring any catfish with you? No. <laughs> you need some socks? How about a burrito and a water and a cookie? Yeah. How long you been on the streets? No, you? Where are you from? Jeez, it's a long ways. Oh, yeah. There you go, man. Sorry, man. Hey, you two newlyweds, you want some want some socks? Huh? Would you like some socks? Yeah. How about a cookie? Anything you can give, baby. Right on, right on. Bill's out there giving love. Socks? I got plenty of socks. Well, Greedo water to. Uh, cookie? Cookie? No cookie? No cookie? Oh, you did. That'll ruin your figure. Thank you. Keep it warm. Can you give me another pair of socks? Sure. Give him another water, too. Gotta take it. Gotta take the water. Thank you, Do you want a cookie? Yeah, can I get some? And she smelled good. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Package deal, man. Hey, brother, how long have you been on the streets? Uh, about four years. Good luck, man. I'm, I met you last week, didn't I? Yes, sir, I believe you have. Sir. You're still here. I know I'm still doing it. What's your name again? They call me Shorty, but I prefer to be called Big Shorty. Big Shorty. Yeah, Big Shorty. We have socks, burritos, cookies, and water. Oh, I'm coming. All right. <laughs> How long have you been on the street? Me? Yeah. Ooh, I oh you. man. About actually about about two years. Where are you from? I, I I'm originally from uh, Missouri. Really? Do you know Hawk? Uh, Do you know Hawk the barber? Nah. Uh, he gives he gives haircuts around his. What's his name? Rob. His name's yeah. Hawk. He goes by Hawk. He's from Missouri. Oh. Yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't really know him. He just he just cut my hair. Oh, really? I didn't I don't like he, him. He used to get you a sign and boycott his ass. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. Me? Oh man. About actually about about two years. Where are you from? I, I I'm originally from uh Missouri. Really? Do you know Hawk? Uh, Do you know Hawk the barber? Nah. Uh he gives he gives haircuts around his what's his name? Rob. His name's Hawk. He goes by Hawk. He's from Missouri. Oh. Yeah? Nah, I don't, I don't really know him. He just he just cut my hair. Oh, Really? I didn't. I don't like he, him. He used to get you a sign and boycott his ass. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. 